Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to talk about everything you need to know to start an LLC in New Mexico. Here are the seven steps that we're going to go through today. If you don't want to create your LLC on your own and you want to have a company do it for you, we'll leave a timestamp here that you can go to and we have a full tutorial walkthrough of Northwest Registered Agent. Northwest will do the entire LLC formation process for you, so if you want to skip to that tutorial, go ahead now. Okay, let's get into these seven steps. The first step is naming your LLC. When naming your LLC, you need to follow New Mexico's naming guidelines. New Mexico's guidelines state that you need to have the words limited liability company or the abbreviations LLC or L.L.C. You cannot use the words association, corporation, incorporated, limited, limited partnership, LP or LTD. And obviously these need to be written in English as well. Another thing is that you cannot have a name that will potentially confuse your LLC with a government entity like the FBI. Your name must also be distinguishable from other names in the state. You need to make sure that your name is available in New Mexico. So you should conduct a name search. You can do this easily online. And lastly, you might want to make sure that your name has an available user. URL. You can check online easily to see if your domain name would be available. Okay, the next step to creating your LLC in the state of New Mexico is filing your articles of organization. Now you need to do this with the Secretary of State and the filing fee is $20. So there's a couple ways to submit your documents. You can either do it online, by mail, or in person, but we just recommend that you do them online. Next, you'll need to decide on the management structure of your LLC. Is it going to be member managed or manager managed? Now for most of the people watching this video, you would want to make it a member managed LLC, which means it's just going to be managed by you. A manager managed LLC means that it's managed by someone else. Step three to forming your LLC in New Mexico is creating an operating agreement. Now this isn't required in New Mexico, but it's highly recommended. This operating agreement is a legal document that's going to outline the ownership and operating procedures of the LLC. This is going to ensure that both the owners and the employees know what to expect from the company and vice versa. This will help reduce conflict. Operating agreements usually entail the following. Organization, who the members are, when and where the business was created, and the ownership structure. Number two is management and voting structure. Three is capital contributions. Then you have distribution distributions. Next is any membership changes. This would be anything involving the transferring of ownership shares and dissolution in the unfortunate event that you would have to dissolve the company. Okay, step number four is to obtain an EIN in New Mexico. The EIN is also known as the federal tax identification number. You can just think of it as a social security number for your business. This allows the IRS to keep track of the LLC's tax status. So you're actually required by the state of New Mexico to open a business bank account and hire employees for this. It's actually free of charge. It's provided to you after forming the company and you can apply for this online or by mail. Step number five is hiring a registered agent. A registered agent is a person or business responsible for sending legal documents on behalf of the company. This would be for any information regarding tax forms, lawsuits, and government correspondence. This person must be a full-time resident of New Mexico. Now this could be yourself, an employee, or a registered agent service. Now the reason why we don't recommend that you yourself are the registered agent for your company is because all that information that you apply with is on the public domain. They'll have everything from your address to your phone number and any other information that you put on there. And technically you need to be available at all times. That's why most businesses use a service for this. It's just really smart to keep all of that private information off the public domain. Now, most of these registered agent services cost between hundred to $150 a year. But if you use Northwest, like we'll show you here in a second, you can get this service for free for one year. So there are some steps to take after forming your LLC that we'll want to talk about later in this video, stick around till then. But right now we're going to walk through a tutorial of how to use Northwest to set up your LLC in New Mexico. So go ahead and click on the Northwest link down below. That's a special link just for our viewers and it's going to have specific pricing for you. Okay. Now that you've clicked on that link down below, it'll bring you to this page at Northwest and you can see for $39, you can have your LLC formed today. It'll bring you to this page here and you'll just click LLC here. Once you click on the state, you can scroll down and click New Mexico, and then it'll bring you to these filing options here. Depending on how fast you want your company formed, there are a couple different pricing levels here. Just a quick note that whether you file your LLC with Northwest or not, you're going to have to pay these fees depending on how fast you want it processed. Northwest doesn't get any of this money. It goes to the state to file your LLC. For the sake of this video, let's just do the standard, which is $50 and it should be processed in six days. If you see this here at the bottom, we'll leave this part checked. This is for your BOI form or your beneficial ownership information. This is a new report that just came out in 2024. We're going to talk about it a little bit later on in the video, but just note that if you want this done, they'll do it for $9. We're going to leave it checked. I think it's a really good deal just to not have to deal with the headache. This is going to be required for most LLCs. Like I said, we'll talk about it a little bit later on and give you all the specifics on it. Once you have that done, you'll see the order summary is here on the right hand side and you can click continue. I'll go ahead and name my LLC here. You can choose to send a copy of this to your attorneys. I'm just going to click no for now. And then next it's going to want you to have your business purpose. Go ahead and fill that information out. You should fill yours in for now. I'm just going to use a generic business purpose, but go ahead and try to tailor that to what your business is providing. And then down here at the bottom, like we said, you get a free year of a registered agent. So go ahead and click these. If you want to keep that free year, you're just going to choose our registered agent address for both of these options. Then we can go ahead and click continue. Now here, like we talked about earlier, you get to decide 
decide between member managed LLC and manager managed. For most of you, it's going to be member managed because you're the one managing your LLC, not a manager. Now it's going to ask you to list members or managers with the state. If you click on this icon here, it'll say that sometimes financial institutions are going to require that you list your manager. So let's go ahead and just click list with state for now. Once that's done, if you want to add any members, you can do that. If not, let's go ahead and click continue. I'll go ahead and fill in these contact details. And once I fill that out, I'll click continue. Go ahead and create your account here. It'll ask you to put in your email information. And then once that's finished, continue. Next, it'll bring you to the business identity page. Northwest offers a free 90 day service of this. It includes a domain name, website, and then a business email and phone number as well. You can choose to do this right now. We're going to leave it checked. Once you're finished with that, go ahead and click continue. Next, it'll bring you to the optional items that Northwest provides as an additional service. So Northwest will get you that tax ID, that EIN number that we talked about a little bit earlier. They provide this service for 50 bucks if you want to do that. They will also file a form 2553 for you, which is the S Corp election for your LLC. You can look into that if you want to save some money on self-employment tax and you think that it's right for you. They also have a mail forwarding service and a trademark service. Let's go ahead and click continue. And lastly, I'm going to put in my credit card information here. And once you're finished here, you can see your full order summary on the right hand side for that low price of $98. The basic package was $39, that $50 for the processing fee, which we had to pay whether we went through Northwest or not. And then also the $9 to file the BOI report, which we recommend that you do. For a total of $98, that's a great deal. Let's go ahead and click done. Once you've clicked done, Northwest is going to process everything for you. So let's get back into the steps you need to do after forming your LLC. So after forming your LLC, it's all about compliance. That's our next step here. You wanna make sure that you're compliant with all the federal, state, and local regulations. So this can include anything such as health permits for restaurants or building permits, anything of that nature. This will obviously vary from state to state, but just make sure to look into this for your specific business. We won't go into too much detail here. Feel free to pause the video and check out some of these links if you need to. You just want to make sure that you're staying compliant and getting all the licenses that you would need for your business. We also recommend that if you're a first time entrepreneur that you get a company to do this for you, it's going to help out and make sure that you're compliant in every place that you need to be. The next topic here is annual reporting for your LLC in New Mexico. Now actually for LLCs, there's no requirement for annual reporting. It's only for corporations. Corporations and nonprofits have to do this every year. So fortunately for your LLC, you will not have to. So after forming your LLC, there's a couple more steps that you want to consider. The first one is to open a business bank account. This separates your personal assets from your business assets. It's a really great practice to do and it's going to protect you. This is going to keep your personal assets safer from lawsuits. We recommend a couple business bank accounts. If you want to check out our recommendations, there will be a link down below in the description to a couple of our favorites. The next thing is get a business credit card. This will keep your business expenses separate just to avoid any confusion. This is going to help for tax purposes as well and build your credit. Also down below, we'll leave a link to our favorite business credit cards as well. The last thing is to hire an accountant. We don't recommend that you do this by yourself. Hire a professional to get the help you need. This could really help you save money on taxes, help avoid penalties, and just make sure that you're compliant across the board. They'll also be able to track your profit and loss. Something else to be aware of are the New Mexico tax filing requirements. We'll leave all the information on the screen here. We won't go too into depth. If you want to pause the video, go ahead and check out those links. You also want to check out the following insurances to make sure you register for those two. And for federal tax filings, here are the forms that you will need. You will need to report your annual income to the IRS. For multi-member LLCs, that's form 1065. And for single member LLCs, it's 1040. You also want to make sure that you have everything in order with your payroll. A couple of the softwares that we recommend are ADP and Gusto. We'll leave the links for ADP and Gusto down below in the description. The last thing that we wanted to talk about here are the new requirements for BOI, the Beneficial Ownership Report. Let's just talk about this briefly. We have another video on the channel where we go into depth about this report, but let's just go over the basics. This is a new report that you have to file in 2024. If you created your LLC in 2024, you'll have 90 days from the creation of your LLC to file this form. And if you create your LLC after January 1st, 2025, you'll have 30 days from the creation of your LLC to file that form. Some of the things that are required for this form are your full legal name and address and your EIN number. We'll list all these here on the slide. And also for each beneficial owner, you'll have to provide the following information, full legal name and address, birth date, and a license that's not expired. Company applicants, in addition to beneficial owners, are also required to be reported. They are only required to be reported for entities that were created after January 1st. So if you were an existing entity before January 21st, you don't have to file for your company applicants. Here are all those dates again if you'd like to pause it and see them. And obviously there are going to be repercussions if you don't file this form. Just file it. Northwest does it for you for $9. It's a great deal. Just do it through them to reduce the headache. So I know we went kind of fast through those. Pause it if you need to, but that's everything we have for you on how to create your LLC in New Mexico. This channel is dedicated to providing business owners and entrepreneurs like yourself with free tutorials like this one. If you found some value in this, please leave a like and subscribe down below so you can see content like this in the future. Thank you so much for watching and we will see you in the next one. Thank you.